Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 22 of Let's Play RimWorld. So here we are, playing RimWorld, of course, and uh, we're going to have to change some things here. Like, this is supposed to be prioritized in a way, isn't it? Um, preferred. For slight chunks and stuff like that, I guess. Um, we're getting too many of them, unfortunately, because I don't think we can actually do anything to slight chunks, can we? No place to store it. But now, if we right click this one, click this one. What? Oh, is this not the same thing? Or. Oh, I don't get it. Let's see what they do over time. Uh, but I don't want them to store slag chunks here. They filled it in with slag chunks too, which is a pain in the butt, unfortunately. Um, we're going to have to increase this more, I guess. I mean, we can go very far, but it sucks that we're just going to have to do it. Um, Mining-wise, we'll just keep going a bit more. Um, I say we go into here a bit, and then what we'll do is we'll go another, I don't know, few in here. This will cause collapses, but hopefully not on anyone we care about. Um, and also, now we're going to look at some priorities. So, um, we, we have all these new recruits and stuff over time. I don't know if they're always coming in properly, but we have statistics here. If you want to see them, pause them and look at them, or history. Uh, last 30 days, last 100 days, last 300 days, and all. Um, and uh, you can select different uh, growth. So this is population. So you can see our population was for the longest time low, and now all of a sudden it's just gone really high. Uh, colonist mood has gone down over time, but that's going to happen no matter what. But it doesn't seem like in a bad area. And uh, and of course we're going to change their overview or whatever here. So actually, I wonder. Um, let's see here. This, this graph actually. Uh, Population. Does it tell you who? No. It'd be cool if it told you who joined. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go through here and we'll just hopefully check them out. Actually, we'll know who's new because they won't have one for firefighting. So there you go. That's easy way to know, for sure. Okay. So Nate and Paris Perez. Uh, you're firefighters. You're also number one in patience. You have to always worry about yourselves first. Um, and then, let's go ahead and uncheck everything else, even though some of them are auto-checked for you. You can haul, so you're going to actually be a hauler. I hate to say that, but we need haulers. You're good at mining, actually. Ooh, really good at mining. So, you know what? Mining is first for you. Uh, hunting, warden, uh, ooh, not bad for that. Uh, but we'll put you as like a three for that, um, or whatever. Uh, well, yeah, three, four for hauling. Because you know, if we're not doing anything else, you know, uh, you know, cleaning actually. You know what? Maybe we should do. You know what? The, the other stuff is good. So you know what? You're not gonna ward. I'd rather you do that, or we could put warding and cleaning on the same one. That's not too bad of an idea. Um, doctoring, yeah. I think that'll work a bit better. They might not like their lives, but that's uh, what we require of them, so that is how it's going to be if we're going to keep going on with this community like this. Now this is when you might want to go save in like one, for example, two, three, whatever, when they're mining in here, because we might have a collapse and kill like half of our guys. I don't think that'll happen, but I don't know, like, I know you can do this, uh, zone, and say remove home, oh no, okay. Create a region where no roost will generate. Oh. Yeah, but they don't they don't tear down cave roofs. See this? This is this is a roof here, so 
over time you're gonna see collapsing happening here. And there's not much I can do about it from what I can tell. Once they break this it might cause some collapses maybe. I don't know. We do whatever we can, right? So I want to see this collapse more. What do we have here? Sh trading ship, trading ship. Ooh, an actual thunderstorm. Oh, they're crushing some of our items in here. Well, that's not really fair. Whatever. We play the game like that. What we could do is also, hmm. Maybe we can actually do a long. You know what? We're gonna change this after this roof collapse, and we'll let that happen. And so now, if we were to do this, you could see. Oh no! I actually, can't. It doesn't show it. But whatever. I think I have an idea for now on what we're going to do. I think I have a really good idea what we'll be doing for now on. I'm going to let them finish that. But my idea is, now on, what we're going to do is instead what we're going to do is mine in here. And we're going to go downwards and we're going to use this huge chunk for one massive storage facility. So let's do something like that. Um, structure orders, mining, so we know we can mine, let's say here, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, I like to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As far as I know, that's as good as, like, you can do nine. And then we'll just do something like that, maybe. And over time, they will get wherever they can. And then we'll turn this into even a bigger uh, stockpile zone for now. And we'll see how that goes. And eventually we'll just get rid of this stockpile zone. Oh yeah, you can see where the roofing is collapsing. So this will probably collapse one. Or not. Well, works out. Okay, so, um, stockpile. There we go. Oh. Yeah, if we're gonna get them to mine here, we should probably open it up, huh? There we go. That should work. <laughs> Oh, they're actually bringing all this crap in here. This is awesome. Things are getting better. Oh yeah, yeah, we should probably get our lights back on now we have. I just paused at the perfect time, huh? What else did we turn off? Oh, the doors? Yeah, 
Anything else that we might have shut off? We shut off these, which are going to be important. There we go. Okay, um, so let's see what we have. Okay, well that's not going to bother us. wonder where he's coming from. Oh, there he is. Maybe he will go crazy. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter to us. Food levels, 80-something. Okay, those are somewhat going. I'm a little worried, though, because they're not as fast as they were before, and I'm thinking we might need to make another cooking spot, unfortunately. Um, just because it's good to have a second one, I guess. Cooking stove. Uh, it's like, where's a good spot for it? Right here? <laughs> no one can ever get in. Huh, could we actually do that? Would that actually cause a... I think that would work. And they'll be attacking right away. Okay, so this is when we go and do the alert, huh? Unfortunately, not everyone has a weapon, so that's going to be a bit of a pickle, but we'll get everyone over here as fast as we can. And, okay, so, pause. Okay, snipers, you're going to take as far as we can put you over here. Sniper. Sniper, I don't know if we clicked you two yet, but there you go. Um, NG. It's good to see you back where we can use your help this time. There we go. Should be able to do well with that. And then you, you can be here as well. And then I wonder if it's better to put you guys like this. Or if it is actually better to have you, oh well. I find they won't get hit so should be fine. <laughs> Neat, neat, my friend. What do we have here for a weapon for you? Um, we got a lot of sniper rifles. I guess that's what you're gonna be, my friend. Sniper, like everyone else. There you go. And then, so neat. I'm gonna have you here. I'm gonna have you here. And let's get the show on the run, shall we? Here you go, this is gonna be uh, a disaster or 10. Oh! No, we're, we're owning these days. There was no chance in hell for them. Those snipers are owning too. Wow, some of these guys are actually staying Behind. Snipers attack! NG, you're getting your butt handed to you today. Careful. You're not worth getting killed on. Okay, so everyone on draft, fix that fire fast, please. There you go. No one survived that. Well, I mean, like, some of them ran off or whatever, but I meant no one survived that we shot. It'd be funny if some of these guys died on their way out. There we go. That's actually good, to be honest. I mean, it sucks that, oh, you know, we don't have somebody new to provoke or, you know. We'll let them sleep for the night. It actually works out well because they're going to get a good sleep. Well, partially, hopefully. 
Poor Inji, I hope she recovers soon. She's been through so much over time. Oh, shit. This is a really bad. Torso, torso. Oh, man. <sighs> you got you got hit quite a lot there. Oh, look at this. Phelps. Can we get somebody to look after NG here? Oh, thank you, Max. You're a good guy. Okay, let's uh, let's welcome our new uh, Phillips guy here. So you're gonna be a firefighter. You're going to be a patient always. And uh, oh, I said warden for you at four, I guess. Let me know. Let's click though. So you have some talents in mining, some talents in growing, repairing, construction, not much in cooking or anything. But hey, maybe you can learn. You know what? Let's check you out. We don't really do much checking out these days, but let's see what you got. You got construction, growing, mining, huh? Cooking is for. Let me get you in the cooking area a bit more, just because we could do with a bit more cooking. Um, from what we were looking at, 78. Yeah, we are lo losing on our food uh, here. Uh, so let's say you can cook more often and construction, repairing, growing, um, plant cutting, and then we'll get you on hauling. Oh, oh I thought I was doing the wrong one. And, cleaning and honestly we should probably put all these guys on repairing no matter what just put on a four or whatever there we go and if something is constructed we'll put that on a one you're, you're pretty good at it so we will respect your talents there okay So, Inji, oh, you're out of bed already. Damn, you're you're a hard worker. Okay, I need you to do the crappy job of stripping everyone. So many people died here. This is ridiculous how many people actually died. I think we're good for the stripping part. Damn. Oh, another one? What the frick? Can you strip that for me, please? I have to unlock the squirrel. You never know, maybe you'll like squir squirrel corpses. <laughs> Probably be more efficient to have the bodies up here somewhere, but I know it bothers people, so... This guy must have like an allergic reaction to w repairing or something. Hmm. What do we have here? A visiting. Nice. Boy, this is full. Okay, so we're mining there. I mean, it's getting better. It'll take time, but it's getting there. It'll have to be our new storage system. I don't, like, I saw some other storage. I'm not sure what it does. Watch there be condensed storage or something. Because I did see before I thought, and I'll have to check in between uh, for next episode just to see. But I saw some kind of, I thought I saw some structure that stores things. But I thought maybe it was just for looks, not like usage, you know what I mean? But maybe it has usage. Uh, security, floors, decoration, ships, temperature. Maybe before there's like another game I was looking at. I swore I saw something that was like structurally wise to store things. Huh.
Oh, here we go. Steel equipment rack. Yeah, what is this thing? Do you have more information than that? No? Steel equipment rack. I'll have to look that up then. Because, uh, it's not really much information. Actually, we can look it up now. Steel equipment rack. Uh, rim world. Let's see what we can find with that. Uh, equipment rack. Here we go. Holds up to two weapons. <laughs> Damn you. Not quite what I was looking for. It's literally, it looks like it is the size of two, yeah. Darn it, I thought it was like some new condensed thing or something. Oh well. I think before we get rid of this, maybe we'll do the clothes pile out here or something. That way we can get rid of clothes at least over time. We have here. Boo boo boo. You detected a cluster. Just a boring old cluster. All that uh, fog. What I might do is tell them to stop over here. Oh, I like them actually mining though, so. I guess we'll just have to wait a little longer. As I say, I could tell them to stop, but then why do that? It's no fun. Uh, need colonist bed. Ooh. Uh, we can make that a colonist bed for now. But yeah, I agree. We're running, actually, there's no colonists are in here, so let's do that. And, oops. But make it four. There we go. <laughs> Can't believe we're already running out of rooms again. Are these actually fully grown? No. Iron there, beautiful. Food's going upwards really well now, finally. Because if we can get them ahead even, too much work on the two fields we have of potatoes, that should at least over time make a better buffer and then eventually they'll have other room for other stuff they can do. Oh yeah, we're going to look at to the heating of food or whatever, we're going to do that down the road, but... No collapse, so this seems like a perfect size. guys are doing on uh, hauling anyways. It's hard to tell if anyone is even hauling, there's just so much stuff here. So in ways I feel like it would have been easier to be outdoors more, but then at the same time I think it would be really hard. <laughs> Because we dig in, we take a lot of time mining, but we get resources out of it as well. But if we were outdoors, I think we would be having a lot, hell of a time defending ourselves. Um, because all those, for example, those uh, friggin' turret things, or whatever you would want to call them, the uh, these puppies here, they would end up getting into here and burning down your, say, your kitchen or beds or your power. Or, you know, It's already bad enough that they're hitting this power, so I could see it being a lot worse. 
Thought about a lot worse. Maybe it's really a oh, wild boar. Let's watch him go crazy, shall we? And bye, boar. Poor thing is gonna get on really fast. <laughs> Did that just happen now? The damage? I wonder if, was it the turrets that did it or? Oh. oh. Not this again. This was so bad the last time this happened. Oh, at least it's nearby. So what can we do? Let them sleep for the night and then go for it, I guess? That might be the best. Okay, everyone. I'm going to be literally set at war here. Oh, there we go. Draft time. And uh, so get out here in formation, please. Okay, so um, who do we have here? Character gear wise, okay. <laughs> Don't usually put all the good gear on everyone, but we're gonna do it anyway. So you're gonna wear an armor vest. You're wearing one, you're wearing one, you're wearing one. Nice. Nice. Looks like everyone's pretty much wearing one now. Okay. You up here, I guess. Okay, who is not wearing a weapon? So, I guess the best way to do this, oops, uh, is to go through this thing here. Oh, you don't have a weapon. Let's go back. Or now you are wearing a weapon. Ah, here you go. Guess we'll just equip you with that. Okay. So everyone has a weapon, everyone's ready. This is when you definitely go ahead and save this. Because this is going to be bad. 3, 2, 1. Because this is where you, you're going to get killed if you screw this up. You remember how bad these guys were last time when we did this, so... Yeah. wonder if that geyser has any issues at all. Maybe we'll go out here. Some people are going to be hungry and depressed and... Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down the list. So you're a sniper, right? Sniper should be fine over here, hopefully. I'm going to try you there. You'll, you'll be a test. Can you actually shoot that? You can cr shoot that, actually. Okay. That's it. That's, that's all I wanted to know. So you're there. You're there, I guess. You're there. There you Wait, did I click the guy there, or were you just... Oh, no, I moved you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. This is a lot worse than I thought it could be. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, you guys are... Oh. You guys are... Are getting out of there as fast as possible. Maybe you can't get out of there. Frig. Okay, we'll try to do this then. No! No. This did not work out well. This is not working out at all, guys. Oh, 
This is not going over well, is it? We'll just have to go in and hope for the best now. This is going so badly. Oh, that thing just blew us apart. You don't need to move any. Ah, oh, stop. You don't need to move any closer. So this is how, literally, you lose your entire colony in one go. These things are insane. So either this is going to be the end of me, or, like, this will probably will be the end of me. Um, we'll continue with the other save I made there uh, next time, if there is a next time. Um, I could try to devise another plan, but honestly... Actually, I probably will try, but it's going to be so hard. Um... The best thing I could think of is I'm gonna have to set up a whole turret thing. This doesn't get activated until you shoot it, right? So the best thing we can do is we can try to get a power thing here. We have a, the geyser here, a couple of batteries to charge up. What we'll do is build a bunch of turrets right here and then shoot it and let the turrets try to take care of it. But besides that, honestly, this is this will be the hardest fight we've ever done. And that'll have to be an entire episode because there's no way we're gonna be able to solve this anyway. So. Uh, not, not, you know, in our two minutes past our normal recording. Uh, so there you go. That's what happens if we try to take a strategy, strategy plan, which I think was not too bad, and try to go in for it. But uh, clearly that was going to cause some ow ows big time. Because these guys are like snipers in their own, which is ridiculous. And they have a lot of firepower, a lot of damage. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff, and we will see you next time.